right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. Welcome to my Columbus Blue Jackets at Buffalo Sabres second intermission report. The Columbus Blue Jackets lead the Buffalo Sabres by a score of 2-1. to one. It's not coaching. People who think that is need a psychi psychological evaluation. It's not coaching. It, it's, it's not coaching. And Tage Thompson said to himself, you know, that when the players don't go out there and execute and do their job, that's not a coach. The coach isn't on the ice playing the game. They are. So when are they going to be held accountable? You know, that's not, that's not coaching. That's not coaching. It never was coaching. Dan Bilesma, one of the good, better coaches in this league, couldn't win here. With Crack Eichel, couldn't win here. Uh, no coach will win here. Uh, Lindy Ruff got lucky. He had Ted Nolan's team, you know. Uh, in the first or in the second period, at 40 seconds, it was Buffalo's Jack Quinn, his third of the season, assisted by Dylan Cousins, his 14th, and Owen Power, his 13th, and it's a 1-1 hockey game. And then at 13:45, of course. It was Columbus Adam Fentilli, his 11th of the season, assisted by Dan Firth, his 9th, and Sillinger, his 10th. And it's a 2-1 Columbus BJ's lead after two penalties. In that second period at 11.38, it was Columbus Adam Fentilli, two minutes for hooking. And at 14.33, it was Buffalo's Peyton Krebs, two minutes for boarding. Uh, goals. Columbus 2, Buffalo 1. Shots, Blue Jackets 13, Buffalo 28. Block shots, Columbus Blue Jackets 14, Buffalo Sabres 2. Hits, Columbus 10, Buffalo 8. Faceoffs, Columbus Blue Jackets 13, Buffalo Sabres 21. Power plays, the Blue Jackets are 0 for 1, Buffalo Sabres 0 for 1. Uh, power play min or penalty minutes. Buffalo 2, and C Columbus 2. So, uh, uh, Jack Quinn, the lone goal scorer. Uh, it, it's, like I said, this team is just so far. They, they've adapted, uh, adopted the losing culture, and it's, it's, they're not going to get it back. They're not going to get it back. Um, and, and any, any coach, you know, they're, they're not going to fix these guys. Once you adopt a losing culture, <laughs> you're not getting it back. Okay. Uh, you're not getting it back. There's a reason why Dan Bilesma couldn't win here. There's a reason why, uh, Phil Housley couldn't win here. And he's a damn good coach. Um, you know, um, and others, you know. If they fire Don Granado, then they should bring back Ron Rolston. Uh, because at least they were competing with Ron Rolston. And they are competing with Donnie Granado. But like I said, and Tage Thompson said, a coach can only do so fucking much. If a player is going out there and not doing his job, what's the coach going to do? Sit him? Who the fuck you going to put in? You only got... You only got a certain amount of people you can put in on your bench. What the fuck you gonna do? You gotta leave them out there. I mean, it's not a coaching issue. It's it's a, it's the players. It's the players, and it's showing because Granado's not even here, and they're not putting forth, you know, the effort they should be. Uh, so, but guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. So you don't miss a video. Stay tuned for my uh, Los Angeles Lakers at Minnesota Timberwolves uh, preview. And stay tuned for my Buffalo, my Columbus Blue Jackets at Buffalo Sabres post-game recap. And stay tuned for my New England Patriots at Buffalo Bills week 17 preview. With some help, the Buffalo Bills with a win can clinch a playoff spot uh, with a win tomorrow against the New England Patriots. But they need help. Uh but, like I said, go Sabres uh, with Uko Pekka sucking in the net. Like I said, I have 
a vote of zero confidence uh, in this team right now without Don Granado. Uh, so, uh, go Sabres. Somehow, you know, they, they can't. Somehow they got to dig down deep and uh, at least try. I mean, this is one of the worst teams in the league, and you're going to lose to them twice? <laughs> One, you blame the coach. Well, your coach ain't there. He's out with an Ill illness. Now what's your excuse? Now what is your excuse? Go ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait. Oh, that's right. It's the players. <laughs> Anyways, go Buffalo losers.